Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. Last time we took care of a raid. They had two sniper rifles. One of the sniper rifles got away, but we did get one out of it. Shoddy quality, but durability is pretty good on it, so that's not, not too bad. So we have two assault rifles and a sniper rifle now. We could sell some of this stuff, hopefully, at some point. So we did finally get a uh, bulk good caravan came by. We got some steel. We have 322 steel and we have uh, 281 wood and I'm going to build a wooden hand tailor bench because I do want to build some, I want to, I want to start making some clothing out of, you know, the human leather that we get. I can make some clothing. I can make some chairs, whatever. We can make some clothing. I'm thinking about rebuilding the comms console. Uh, people are saying I might not need it or not. What I could do instead, even though there'll be a penalty, um, I could build... a high-tech research bench. Now... It will be slower because it's outside and, and it'll be cold for the people out there doing research. I don't think it'll, it's under a roof, so I think it'll be okay. Uh, we can try and bring it inside as soon as we can with enough materials. Hopefully. Um, I'm contemplating building that. Outdoors and bad temperature. So there would be a speed penalty, but it would give right, my researchers something to do. Uh, you know, and we can, uh, you know, start working on a transport pod, which would be awesome for us because we can't go anywhere in the world. I might need the, um, uh, we can't go anywhere other than to here and they're friends. And so I don't really want to, uh, anger anyone who's my friend right now. That's these guys here, the nonsen of the cliff. They're not huge friends of us, but they're still friends and they're a tribe. So I don't want them to come after us. So far, really, we're only being attacked by the dragonflies of Cash. I'm guessing the Red Ridge tribe just maybe can't get to us. Um, I'm okay with that <laughs> at the moment. But uh, these two people are uh, yellow and red are people that I could think about raiding. Um, so these must be the pirates. Uh, dragonflies of cash and these are the uh, the yellow guys so with a transport pad what I can do is I could send people across the water now it's still the tundra I might be able to get to a boreal forest uh, I'm still a long way away from you know raiding somebody I'd kind of like to go over here if I could get to somewhere over here if I could set up in a boreal forest here, that would not be too bad. I mean, temperature's still cold, right? It doesn't get like super hot or anything, so it's not like, you know, the be all end all. You know, you have to get a little bit, uh, you know, further further towards the equator to start doing that, and that's, that's a long way. Um, but it's a thought. It's a thought. It's a thought I'm having, and I, I'm probably going to do that. Now, again, I'll need materials to build the transport pad, and I'll need, you know, fuel to fuel up the, tr you know, the pods to send them out. But, you know, sort of a long-term goal here, I think. Uh, the only other option that we have is we could try and settle somewhere in the tundra over here, which, you know, it's still cold, but, you know, there's... They still have, there is some trees, there's little vegetation, there are some animals, um, you know, predators, slow to travel, but there are some stone there, right? So we can get some stone and stuff. Uh, ice sheet, I think, has stone as well. We could go to ice sheet, but again, you're looking at cold temperatures, no wood, only animal, you know, rare animals and stuff. So tundra is probably better for us for a second colony. But really, what we want is to get a colony over here. Um, and then what you can do is you can set up a transport pad to uh, multiple places so that you can then, you know, sort of launch between them. Um, can I transport? Uh, 
I think I think that's the only way that I'm going to be able to get off off the uh, this 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 point is with the transport. It's my only my only thought. Um, so I'm going to build a research station. I think we'll do it. Let's just do it. I could get the comm station, but I guess we'll wait until we get more materials for it. We'll sort of see where we're at material wide material wise here once I get the research bench up and running. Um, it needs power. Is it connected? It's connected, okay. So Argamas can go out there and start doing research and stuff, and Madman can also go out there and do research, which is good. We now have a tailoring bench. What I don't know is should I go ahead and uh, make another human leather chair? Or should I think about making some clothing? I should probably make some clothing. Let's uh, let's make a parka. Does, uh, I can't remember. Does anybody have a parka? I think Cap mm, does. Okay, so we can make two parkas. And they take how much? Okay, so we can make one parka. We can make one human leather parka. Uh, we'll add another bill to make... Uh, uh, I think we only need one toque. How much does a toque take? 25. Might have enough, or we might just be short. I think we're, oh, we have enough, I think for a toque and a parka. Let's go back to my bills here. We'll make one parka and one toque to start with. We, if we start growing some cloth, which we might do here, we uh, we might be able to do something else. We got 72 steel left. It's sort of not enough to do much of anything. Now I could salvage some of the steel in the walls and build what does a smelter cost me? 170. So I'm short by a hundred. I'd have to, I'd have to take out a lot of walls. Uh, someone also offered the suggestion that rather than sacrificing some of the stuff, I could have made some silver walls. Um, it's a hundred silver per wall, so I couldn't make very many of them. Um, but uh, I guess it's a possibility if you had a lot of silver. You know, you could make some silver walls. But uh, yeah, that's uh, this, this is too much. Just too much, too much, too much material for me. I could swap out some of my steel walls if I if I need if I want to build something that only takes a hundred, like a, another hydroponics bay back, machining table. No, I could make a smithy, but eh, that's not worth it. Sculptor table, not worth it. So nothing really, I would like the smelter. That's 170, but I'm 100 steel away. I don't I don't see me getting that anytime, you know, in the near, in the near future. So we'll just let things go. We may, we may build up a little bit more power. That, that may happen here eventually. Go cat. Make a parka. Okay, I think I can uh, shut this off, right? I'm pretty sure that everything's resting right now. Uh, let's uh, turn that off to save on the power. That way, we'll get some we'll get some power back. Heat in here is pretty good. It's uh, cool outside. Uh, our research is penalized, but all we have right now is time. So once we finish the auto doors here, I think I will do the uh, transport pod if I can next. Sort of see what we need for that. Uh, 
then I might pick up the multi analyzer. Um, as somebody was saying, they think I need 20 gold and some plasteel for the multi analyzer, and I don't have any plasteel right now, so. Yay, auto doors! Okay, let's grab the transport pod. Let's do that. It'll take a little while, but that's okay. We've got nothing but time out here in a frozen wasteland. Uh, it says we have low food. It's always going to say that, right? We got 57 rice and uh, four nutrient paste meals. So it's almost, it's almost 10 meals there. Uh, let's see who's got the major break risk. Madman, are you hungry? Oh, sorry. Very cold. You know you can stop researching, right? I could build a table. Can you craft, Madman? Let's see what's your crafting. It's five, cat is seven, two. All right, you can craft. Um, let's see what else here. Madman, you're why don't you take a why don't you take a break and then our gamus can uh, take over and you can go in uh, I think we got enough human leather for the two crate details. Oh, you can't make it out of uh, leather. Huh. Interesting. I did not know that. Uh, so we will need cloth to. Uh, oops. You know what? I forgot about the uh, the growing time. I gotta I gotta pay attention to that. I'm gonna lose some growing time. That'll be fine. I think what I'll do is. Once this batch of plants is done, I'll actually switch it over to cloth. Ah oh, yeah, keep failing those harvest guys. Five, three, three. Um, I think we're into resting. Yeah, let's uh. Maybe I should put a light light in here. Um, furniture. How much is a standing lamp? 15 steel. Should we put a light light in here? Let's put a light light in here. I think it might be worth it. <clears throat> Someone was saying that a light light will actually help grow plants. Look at that, we got a human leather parka. Good quality too. Yeah, see these don't uh oh it's one out. We'll see if it we'll see if it works. Eclipse. That's okay for us. We got wind power. Need your break risk. Who's got it? Or Gamus? Why don't you stop being out in the cold? And... Oh, cat, you're wearing the human leather. <laughs> cat is wearing the skins of her fallen. <laughs> 
why don't you go inside and warm up? And, um, I don't know. Go ahead and... Flick the sun lamp. I can move the chair. Let's move the chair over there. That way people can sit down while they're researching. Ooh, there's not a lot of wind. We're losing a lot of power right now. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to flick that. Wait, what happened? Why are you... Why would you... Stay outside, first off. You have a synth red jacket, which is fine, but wouldn't a parka be better? Right? Like, wouldn't it? Have we still got that? How long? Two days. Yeah, we have to keep we have to keep the light off because we're running out of power. At least our power is going up, but uh, oh, it's pretty sad. We need some wind to come in. Can we get a little bit more grow time? Ah, come on. Why can't I flick that? Okay, we can get a little bit of growth time, but not enough. Transport pod finished. Okay. Constructible land, launch pod. Constructible? Construct launchable transport pods that you can use to launch people and supplies long distances across the planet's surface. All right, let's pause for a second here. Uh, let's do the multi-analyzer. I'd like to get that out of the way. Uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of growth right here, but we are, yeah, we gotta, we gotta flick this off. Oh no, our power is going down. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Uh, let's check out our power here. Okay, let's turn off the beacon. We definitely don't need that. Why is that even on? Uh, turn that off. Turn that off. Turn our, turn our light off. Let's go. Let's start turning stuff off. Still losing power. Did we turn this off? Come on, come on wind, come on wind, come on wind. Thank you wind, <laughs> oh my god. I got down to one power. That's crazy, I really should. Okay, clip sending. I have 32 steel. How much wood do I have? I have 206 wood. I should consider taking out uh, a 
bunch of steel and, and replacing it with wood for the walls. Um, just because I could use uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I need, I need 70. Uh, so 10 would give me 50. I need a little bit more, right? So I need, uh, I don't know, like, thir like 13, 13 steel. So if we were to um, can I do a deconstruct here, if we were to deconstruct that when Madman gets up, Argamas, what's your construction? It's like three. I don't I don't like you doing that. I'd rather he do it. We'll have our we'll have madman do it once he wakes up here um, we do have a bunch of power we have a decent amount of wind so maybe we can get some grow time in here let's turn that on we don't have any meals right now it's going down pretty fast. Oh, the wind died. Oh, you wind. I have to shut you off. We have like no wind coming in. I'm going to shut you off. And let's go with... Some wooden walls out there. At least we're going back up a little bit. <laughs> I need I need another solar flare. Oh, that's not good. It's really not good. Um, orders, harvest. Let's harvest what we can, everybody. Um, uh, we can't get any nutrient paste. Oh, that sucks. Don't want people to eat. I'm going to, until the flare is over, Somebody eat rice already? He's got a meal. Okay, well, until the solar flare ends, nobody's eating cuz we don't want to we don't want to waste our 73 rice in about a day. So we're going to have a day without power. That's actually going to be bad. Uh it indoors it's minus 25. Um, let's go ahead and uh, light a campfire inside. Should help warm things up a little bit. You know, so we don't freeze. Solar flare over. Oh. All right. I can deconstruct that. Let's go ahead here and we'll plant some cotton. At least I get some wood back. Uh, steel wise, we are at 30, we're at 99. I'll have to take one more wall. Uh, I just basically need to deconstruct one more wall and replace that with wood. And now I can build another, I think I'm going to build another uh, wind turbine. I think a third wind turbine here will at least allow us 
to generate enough power to keep our solar running for a decent uh, amount of time here. Hopefully we can like keep the lights on and keep that on and keep our our research going and stuff with the other wind power coming in. Oops, I meant to designate power, not reconnect. Let's turn that on. Designated that power. Okay, so we should be pretty good. I don't care about that right now. So power-wise, we should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and toggle on the sun lamp. As long as we have a decent clip of wind coming in, you know, we should be uh, gaining power, and that'll be great. And uh, hopefully then food-wise we'll be okay. And uh, we'll get some, get some cotton grown here. It takes a little while, the cotton. It doesn't have as fast of a grow rate, so... And I think it has a longer grow time overall. So anyway, I hope you've been enjoying this look at RimWorld. I just wanted to check. Oh my god, would you stop going out there and working yourself till you get hypothermia? And really, just warm up, buddy. You're going to go out there again. You're just going to get hypothermia again. I can't help you right now. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Um, oh, we gotta fix the hydroponics basin. Basin. What I wanted to look at was miscellaneous. Pod launcher. Okay. It's eighty steel for a pod launcher. Fueling port for launching one transport pod. Pod launchers can lock, launch as a group, but the launchers must be placed adjacent to each other. Okay. Transport pod. A launchable suborbital travel cargo pod capable of carrying people, items, or animals can be used for transport, surprise attacks, or reinforcing battles. Yeah. Now there's a range. I don't know if it tells you the range until you actually build one. Can I see information? Okay. I can't I can't really see anything. Uh, we're not going to build it yet. We can't afford to build it, but we'll be able to launch pods. And the hope is <laughs> the hope is we'll launch a pod across the ocean here somewhere. That's my plan. We'll see how that works out. I don't know who's going to be the the first to uh, try a pod. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know who's 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 going to be the first one to go. But uh, anyway, I hope you've been enjoying this look at Rimworld. Until next time, Delgar out. <laughs>